In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm making YouTube thumbnails or featured blog images using a prompt generator, then putting that into ChatGPT Plus using the built-in AI image generator from Dolly 3, then putting this into Canva to make some final edits. It sounds like a lot of steps. It's so easy. I'm not a graphic designer. I don't love playing with edits. If I can do this, anybody can do it because it's that simple and it's powerful. So what you're looking at here is an image that was generated directly from ChatGPT+. And this is the paid $20 version of ChatGPT that has the text image generator built in at this point. But you can use this prompt with another, any other AI generating tool that you want. You can put this into Canva. You can put this into Midjourney. You can put this into Stable Fusion. For me, it's easiest to use ChatGPT now that it's all built in. I'm so happy how easy it is to use. Now, in my particular case, this is exactly how I did it. I installed a Chrome extension called Harpa. It is free, at least at this time I'm making this video. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but that could change down the road. I'm using this free Chrome extension. So you go to the Chrome store. Again, I'll put the link below and you install Harpa. And then no matter what tab you're on, you click this little H up here in your browser and you can open the Harp Harpa extension, okay? Now, when you first open Harpa, you'll be able to see a little home page. It's got all these templates. What you're looking for is the mid journey image generator, but you can also get there just by putting in this little slash, okay? And in my case, it's already showing up up top. Oh, here it is, Midjourney Prompt Wizard. But if you don't see that for any reason, just start typing Midjourney and you'll start seeing these templates pop up. Okay, it's right there on the top. So I'm gonna click that. Then I'm gonna tell ChatGPT, I'm sorry, I'm gonna tell, well, it is ChatGPT, it's powered by ChatGPT. I'm gonna tell Harpa what I want the image to be about. And I'm gonna put it in real simple terms then Harpa is going to give me back several options. So here's what this looked like when I did this image. I said, I just typed this in, generate a YouTube thumbnail. Pretty blonde woman is sitting at a computer. She's excited because she discovered a content gold mine with chat GPT. You could make this a square Instagram post. You could make this a tall pin. It's all about what you ask for. Okay. Also, when we put this prompt into chat GPT, we could say, give her blue eyes. We could say, make her happier or have her not be smiling. You can chat with chat GPT about your images the same way now you can about content. How amazing is that? Okay. So we take that prompt and we go over and we paste it into chat GPT. Let me show you what this looks like. These are the ones I was playing with. Let me just grab the, the one. Here it is. Instant gold mine. Okay, here's some examples. So this is what ChatGPT created without anything fancy, okay? So these kind of photos are what I don't like. You know, I like what's behind her actually, but she doesn't look as realistic. But if I wanted that cartoon to look like a real person, I could say, make this less cartoony make it more looking like a real woman sitting at the computer. So you can kind of go back and forth. And here's a version where it looks artistic. I put in the artistic version. This is being populated with the prompts that we made from ChatGPT, from uh, Harpa, okay? You can play around with this all that you want to. Now in my case, I'm just gonna grab, this is the one that I grabbed, and I'm gonna show you how we can take that image now and put it into Canva and make some simple edits to have this look the way we want to, okay? So we open Canva. There is a link in the description for Canva. I do have an affiliate with Canva and what my affiliate link benefits me with no extra cost to you, but it also gets you a 30-day free trial of Canva Pro, which you're gonna need for all of these extra AI image edits, okay? So in this particular case, I'm paying for the ChatGPT+, Harpa's free, and I'm playing, paying for the Canva Premium, which is well worth it since I'm a full-time content creator. You'll have to decide what's worth it for you, okay? Now, when we first put our image in, I'm going to show you what it looked like. Remember, she it had that broken text there, okay? So there's what it looked like. 
just a plain image. Now let me just drop that on here so that it looks a little bit cleaner there. So here's my upload. Okay, there we go. This is what it had on there. Now what I do is I go to edit photo and I'm going to go to magic erase. Okay. And it just says brush over the image. So I want to get rid of this right here completely. All right. Now let it do its job. And sometimes it'll leave a little bit of a, a little bit of marks. You go back and erase until it's perfect. Let's see if it does it on the first time correctly. It did. Now we need to get rid of this text here. Watch this, how easy this is. Perfect. Now I go over to text and I'm gonna add a heading and I, what do I want that to say? I wanted it to say chat GPT. Now I can move that over and I can just shrink that down to fit inside that little bubble. If I wanna change the font, I can easily do that by going here, okay, drop that in. All right, let me go play with that font. So we come up here and we're just gonna play around with all of these until you get what you want in there. Oh, I like that one, okay? Then once that's there, now I wanna put an icon right here. So what I did is I went over to elements and I typed in uh, chat GPT. Now there are logos. I could put in a chat GPT logo right in the middle of that if I wanted to and have it look like that. In my case, I thought the little robots were cute. So when you see the little robots and they're cre he's, he's creating a little content calendar for her and that's why she's so excited in this particular case, I can just put that right there and you guys, that is it. Then I come up here to share, I go to download and I download that video. It's super easy. Now, I do want to tell you, remember, when you're playing with your ChatGPT images, sorry, let me go back to ChatGPT here, you can go back and forth and you can take an image, okay, and you can say on there, in this particular case, the last, let's go back here to those images and I'm going to click edit. This will allow us to work with those ones back at the top again. And I'm going to say, the image on the right, she should be a brunette. Let's make a redhead. She should be a redhead instead of a blonde. So you, what you see is I'm just basically chatting back and forth. So I could say, make the computer screen blue instead of green to try to match my branding a little bit. Or... Instead of her wearing a tank top, let's put her in a suit. Okay, something like that. Now, hang on. I'm going to show you what this finished product looks like. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now, what was interesting is I thought it would be a little bit more literal in the way it made the changes, and I guess it's not quite ready for that. I have used this before to make some minor changes, and it worked well. In this case, it did definitely keep the same concept. In fact, I really like it. Still got the gold. I, I like that it got the text right this time. It's got the gold bars on there. She's a really cute redhead. So this, this might be usable. You may have to go back and forth. But the point is that you can chat with ChatGPT on your images exactly like you would with content. So here, look what it gave me at first. And I said, this is not the same image at all. It knew to go back and pull the same concept and gave me something similar although not exact, and then did change the red hair. So go back and forth and chat with it until you get the images the way that you like them. I hope that helps for you. The links are all in the description below.